we go. Baby Shark with the belt on, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. That's the Luta Livre roots of Melky Galvao. So Luta Livre specialist as well as a BGJ black belt. It's the first time we've seen that somebody wearing the belt here at who's number one. Pretty cool. A little Luta Livre representation here. Hugo Duarte was actually at one of our who's number ones a few events ago. There you can see the, the flexibility that I was talking about with Shea. Just insanely flexible. So as we see uh, Diogo or Baby Shark get around, his head is going to play a very pivotal role on getting past those legs or just potentially just wearing wearing Shea's down so the, you know, the core muscles wearing him down and potentially using that as a tactic to get the guard passed. So the head will go into the stomach unless he's gonna walk back around. So to pass an inverted guard, you can keep the guard, the feet pinned above the head and then actually move back down past, back actually behind the hips or do this, where the forehead is in the stomach and then you get rid of the legs. That forehead's gotta stay on the belly button though, otherwise all this happens right here. There's the forehead, there's the head is in good position. It's a bit scary though when you put your head in a good position with somebody's legs like that because your arm you're gonna feel like your arms are always in jeopardy. This feels like the classic passer versus guard player matchup that we kind of expected this to be. But you know, Diogo Hayes training with the likes of Mika Galvao. Mika's got some insane flexibility as well. Maybe not as flexible as Shea, but Mika can get stretched and I think Tiago has the experience of dealing with flexible guards so it'll be interesting to see what he does to really solidify positions against Shea here. He did a good job of getting creeping above the knees and that's something that he'll need to get over that knee on that side. He chooses to exit or like I said you can use it a, ta a tactic to walk around north south put your head in the stomach and just work on wearing down the core muscles and the hip flexors of your opponent. We've seen this work very well. Diogo Hayes has a really intricate guard passing system. A lot of trapping, a lot of redirectional movements, a lot of lateral movements side to side. As you see it there, and he's stuffing those legs in, just trying to shut down any sort of attachment that Shea can make. And now Diogo's got a nice little pass attempt. He's bypassed the one leg, looking for a double under, stacking Shea here. This is good for him. This is where you want to pass an inverted guard. You can also staple an arm down with your shin, but that's where you want to be. You get behind the hips, you get your chest behind the hips, and then the inversion, uh, really they can't play guard anymore. They have to decide to tip over all the way like this, or you can staple an arm down and work on getting inside the legs. Togo Hayes, the current ADCC world champion, former who's number one champion. He's pretty much won every major title in the IBJJF. So this is a big match for Shea to make his debut in. Not only, you know, making who's number one debut, but one against pretty much the best out there. Now Togo Hayes with a beautiful submission attack. Gets Just ate the man from Scotland. Yeah, just a roll, roll. arm and guillotine. It starts off as an arm and guillotine, moved right into uh, that Darce choke. And the Anaconda and was able to finish it off. Baby Shark From Jajai, Sao Paulo, Brazil, originally from Manaus, the Baby Shark is back here at who's number one. Very, very impressive submission win. Let's take a look at this replay. Baby Shark dealing with the flexible guard of Shea in the beginning, trying to solve the riddle, trying to get to the back. Did an amazing job, beautiful rollout. Gets that anaconda. Yep. Squoze and got the submission, there it was. Let's see the, like, one more time. Nice angle on that anaconda. submission. We're going to toss things over to Kendall for a word with our winner. Congratulations, Diego Hayes. Another submission victory here on the Who's Number One stage.
you got a lot going on here. We've got the flag, we've got the belt, we've got the hat. Tell us how it feels to come in and get another win here on the Who's Number One stage. I'm really happy for being here again. So uh, took a time so long for come back here and come back here, winning, uh, but winning by, by submission. It's really great. It's really uh, for me. It's a great performance that I hit. I was working a lot on trying to do new things, but uh, you know I like it. So I you talking Portuguese, okay? So tô muito feliz de estar de volta aqui no palco do Rio Number One. Demorou um tempo aí para voltar, mas agora tô de volta, firme e forte. É muito feliz de ter conquistado a minha finalização e não posso esperar para a próxima. So the baby shark is back. Now, you are one of the most accomplished athletes on the card tonight, ADCC champion, previous Who's number one champion. What is left for you to accomplish other than coming back and having super fights? You know, you have, do you have a big year ahead of you? What are the goals? So this year, everybody I went know my goal is to, de to defend my title at the ADCC, the biggest tournament. But also, I would like to have another fight for the belt here. Can't wait for that. Uh, in Portuguese. Galera, é muito feliz de estar de volta. Como todos já sabem, meu gol para esse ano é defender meu título da DCC. E eu estou muito feliz. E claro, fazer uma luta antes e, e lutar pelo cinturão do Rui de Meuã. So ADCC and potentially back for another belt shot, is that right? All right, yes. So I just want to talk one more thing. So also in Brazil, people are impressed for terrible things, like in our city, in Rio Grande do Sul. So I'm here, but it's very sad to see a lot of people losing their houses, their family, you know, kids, everything. And it's uh, also in Brazil, but being here, fight for, to give some hope for them, because everything will be all right. And also one part of my, my bonus here, I will donate for them to help family, to help the states. And also, as I come back to Brazil, I, I'm gonna do more things. I will do a free seminars to all the money that we, we have, we're gonna give to them, because I know it's, it's so hard here uh, and to see that how blessed we are, because we have people pass for terrible things, and sometimes we don't give thanks to God, but we should be grateful for it. I will talk Portuguese. É, infelizmente, o pessoal do Rio Grande do Sul está passando por um momento muito difícil e pessoas perdendo a casa, perdendo a família, perdendo filhos, filhas e uma parte da minha bolsa aqui eu vou doar para as famílias. É claro que eu vou fazer mais coisas, fazendo seminários para arrecadar o máximo dinheiro para poder ajudar todos eles. Porque estando aqui lutando por eles para dar uma um pouco mais de esperança, porque eu, eu sei, eu acredito que Deus que tudo vai voltar ao normal. E estando aqui feliz, lutando por ele, lutando pelo meu país, porque Brasil é um país de que você vem em altos e baixos, e vencer é a nossa maior força. E... Obrigado, galera. Os... Diogo Reis, thank you for taking the time to bring awareness to the tragedy, and we want to give a huge round of applause one more time for our champion here tonight. Thank you so much. All right, congratulations, Diogo Hayes. The baby shark is back. Don't go anywhere, guys. We're going to kick to a break. But coming up next, we have our women's match between Emily